Hi, my name is Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. I did a video about dealing with yellow jackets when I first started the channel a couple of years ago. But I'm noticing on social media now, since this is the height of yellow jacket season, a lot of people are asking again, how do I get rid of my yellow jackets on my feeders? and people are asking me. So I figured that since this is the height of yellow jacket season, this would be a good time to redo this video to get the information out that if you wanna get rid of your yellow jackets, there's a way. I have good news and I have bad news. And the good news is you can solve your yellow jacket problem once and for all. But the bad news is you have to solve the problem in the spring. Most yellow jacket colonies don't survive the winter. The queen leaves at the end of the season and she goes out and she finds a place where she can hibernate for the winter. And that's usually either in an old tree stump, under a log, in an old rodent hole, or somewhere where she's not going to freeze. And then in the spring, she comes out of her little hiding place and starts looking for a place to build her nest. This is the time to solve your yellow jacket problem. Because if you catch the queen, there's not going to be any nest. <laughs> I used to have a place up in the Sierra Nevada mountains. That's the mountain range in between Nevada and California. And my place was like midway between Reno and Lake Tahoe. The pr <laughs> my property was backed up to a large swath of untouched federal land, apparently filled with yellow jacket nests. The first summer that I was up there, I couldn't even eat a sandwich on the patio because there were yellow jackets all over the place. I went out and I bought a bunch of these yellow jacket traps and I hung them and I must have caught thousands of them. But then what I did is in the spring, it was actually in March when the snow was disappearing from the ground. I hung these traps out again, and guess what I caught? 16 queens. The next summer, I could have a whole picnic out in the backyard and I wasn't bothered by yellow jackets anymore. There are many different kinds of yellow jacket traps. They still sell this one, but the new ones have plastic bags attached to them so the yellow jackets end up in the bag and you don't even have to empty them. You could just toss the whole thing in the trash. If you've caught a queen, she's very easy to identify. The queens are much larger than the workers. They don't have stingers. At the end of their abdomen, they have a flat area, which is called the ovipositor, and that's where the eggs come out. And she has two sets of wings. If you've caught a queen, there will be no confusion. You will know it's a queen. I must add this information. The yellow jackets are a part of the ecosystem and they play a positive role. They feed their young the remains of, of nasty caterpillars and flies that attack crops. Um, so they really do have a positive effect and they have their role in the environment. But when they go unchecked, they're a little hard to coexist with and they're dangerous. They're very, very aggressive. These yellow jackets will sting you multiple times because they don't lose their stingers like honeybees do after they sting you. And they're aggressive. They will chase you to protect their nest. So if you have kids playing on your property and you have a yellow jacket nest, it can be very dangerous. Now there's a ton of information on the internet of how to get rid of yellow jacket nests. You, they sell foam that kills them, that you're supposed to squirt down the hole you see them coming out of, and uh, some people pour gasoline in and light it on fire. <laughs> and every single video starts with showing you how to get dressed, how to protect yourself when you're trying to get rid of the yellow jacket nest. 
Now, it seems to me that it would be a lot easier just to prevent the nest from being built in the first place. Catch the queens in the spring. Don't forget to mark your calendars because you're going to want to remember this when the time comes. This is Carol Turek from Hummingbird Spot. See you next time.